Happy Labor Weekend, everyone. It's a special day here in Ruatoria as the provincial rugby season comes to a close this afternoon. New Zealand's smallest rugby province, Ngāti Pirau East Coast, hosts Mid-Canterbury in the 2022 Lahore Cup final. Kia ora koutou from a packed-out Whakarua Park. An occasion like this only occurs once in a decade sort of thing, so we hope you enjoy this wonderful event on the 22 East Coast. To the back, it's good. Now the driving mall. East Coast just inside the Mid-Canterbury 22 now. On the attack, Joe Royal with control of it. Still going forward, East Coast. Looking for the first try of the match. Still driving. Nati Pado, East Coast. Seven metres out from the mid Canterbury line. East Coast still going. Fantastic work from there. Driving forwards and they're still going. They might crash over here. They do. Powerful more to start off the finals. East Coast score. Talk about statements. Oh, the East Coast Pack have just made one of their own. Pure magic behind fantastic play. That is this ball is found in the smallest detail. The players up front doing the work, splitting mid Canterbury's defence. They're coming in ones and twos. East Coast coming as one, and they go all the way for the opening five pointer. Phoenix puts in a step, ball on the inside. Lima Demi. Well inside the 22, penalty advantage as well. Now Vasurukuta got the pass on Ariki. Mid Canterbury stringing the phases together. Blackburn has a dart himself. Right in front of the sticks now. Deep inside the 22 and a penalty. First points on option for Mid Canterbury. They nail it. Seven points to three. East Coast lead. Ball there for Mid Canterbury off the back of the scrum. Hennings under a bit of pressure. Penalty. East Coast. Three points are good. Back to a seven point ball game. East Coast lead. Quick tap taken, East Coast. Big charging run from Lavave. Just short of the halfway ball there for Parks. Kemp. Ball's been charged down. Mid Canterbury have possession here. Yes, they do. Big run here from Samo, who breaks away. Samo, he'll score for Mid Canterbury. Oh, opportunity doesn't knock. It presents itself when you bang the door down. And that's just what Samo's done. Great work from Masawini to get the charge down. Nice little flick pass. And then it was just all too easy for the big man in the sixth jersey. Manasa Samo, and that is just what Mid Canterbury needed. Gets through the defence all too easy, and there was no stopping him. East Coast line out a bit awkward, but it's there. Manuel takes it to ground inside the 22. Tishborn drives it up a bit further forward. Now East Coast. Using the forwards, edging closer to the line. Looking to hit the lead again, Parks hits the short side. Bartlett, ball on the inside, East Coast winding up, close! Crashing over, short, another go down the short side, Bartlett. Advantage as well for East Coast. Pick and go. Another drive. Short, East Coast, close to the line. Another wrestle, there's the try. East Coast, hit the lead. Get another go at this. Too big, too strong, and just too good. A man who's been dominating in the loose head position around the field. Tishborn gets the spoils, but a lot of hard work done previously by the low numbers. They were patient. They knew they were right there on the brink of it. Mid Canterbury. Have possession again. Vasurukuta. Riki chips it over the top. East Coast trying to field it. Mid Canterbury have it. Bit of a head high. Mid Canterbury have the advantage. Pick and go from Samo. Blackburn drops in a stabbing grubber kick. East Coast should have control and they'll come back for the penalty. 
McCloy kicks it over. 17 points to 13. East Coast lead. It's a long way back. Hasn't found the touchline. Timmy Tautua flings it back in. Wayinga, open space here for the East Coast fullback. Takes it up the guts. Ball there for Parks. Moves it on. Timmy Tautua again, drawing in the defence. Timmy Tautua, break it away. Got the pass on. There it is for East Coast. Down the sideline. There's the try. In the corner. East Coast score. Tangaini. Belief fuels passion, and passion really fails. And there is plenty of belief here today. Nati Peru, East Coast, all too good. Look at the amount of blue jerseys in shot. And that is as easy as it gets for the blind side flanker off the back of some fantastic work and footwork from Timmy Tautua. Through the hands again, Mid-Canterbury, a break up the pass. Now, what can they do? Masuru Kulta got the pass on, it's still there! McCanterbury away! McCloy will score under the sticks! How good is that? Winners are not that, and never fail. But those that never quit, and there is no quit in this mid-Canterbury team. Masuru Kulta once again creating the opportunities. And then... McCloy going all the way. Seven. And, um, we'll be... Oh, he said, well, let's see. Actually, think it was Masawini. Excuse me. He did the business. They've held yes. on to the ball now for over two minutes. East Coast. Take it in. Into the final minute. Penalty advantages it for East Coast. Parks hits the left hand side. Wayinga moves it. And they'll come back for the penalty. And a penalty for East Coast. And that surely is enough to win the Lahore Cup for 2022. Kim's kick to make it a five point ball game. He's got it. Mid Canterbury need a converter try to win the final. East Coast in front by five. 90 seconds to play. East Coast, take it in. That might be full time on the clock now. Another pick and go. East Coast. We'll look to kick it out now. Back it goes. East Coast will get rid of it. And East Coast. The Hall Cup champions in 2022. Five points to 20. Nati Pado East Coast. Champions over Mid Canterbury. Lahore Cup champs for 2022. We'll be back right after this.